sure. Here's a 2000 word YouTube video script, without headings, visuals, or host, about the 2024 Turkish fighter jet Khan, Taylor Def. The Turkish defense industry has been undergoing a silent revolution over the past two decades. One of the most striking symbols of this transformation is the Khan fighter jet Turkey's bold leap into the exclusive club of fifth generation stealth fighter manufacturers. Once a dream, now a reality, the 2024 rollout of Khan has marked a turning point not just for Turkey's national defense, but for its role in global military aviation. Turkey has long relied on foreign built aircraft to protect its airspace, particularly the American made F 16S. But recent political tensions and defense embargoes have forced Ankara to reconsider its long term defense strategy. The solution? Build a next-gen fighter jet, tailor-made to its needs, by its own engineers. Thus, the TFX project was born and now officially christened as Khan. Developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, Thai, Khan is not just another aircraft. It represents national pride, technological self-sufficiency, and a signal to the world that Turkey is ready to compete with major military powers. When it was first unveiled, many were skeptical. Could Turkey really build a stealth jet to rival the American F-35, Russian Su-57, or the Chinese J-20? Fast forward to 2024, and the answer appears to be a resounding yes. Let's start with its design. The Khan is a twin-engine stealth aircraft that exhibits all the hallmarks of a fifth-generation fighter as sharp angles, a radar-absorbing surface, and a low observable profile. Its sleek fuselage and twin vertical stabilizers hint at influences from the F-22 Raptor, yet it has a distinct Turkish design language. The cockpit canopy is bubble-shaped for 360-degree pilot visibility and the forward fuselage features faceted lines that help reduce its radar signature. One of the most critical aspects of any modern fighter is stealth. Khan has been built from the ground up to evade detection. It incorporates advanced composite materials that absorb radar waves, and the internal weapons bay keeps missiles and bombs concealed, ensuring minimal radar cross-section. Air intakes are specially shaped to reduce radar reflection, and the jet's heat signature is carefully managed to make it less visible to infrared sensors. But stealth is only one side of the equation. Speed, agility, and firepower matter just as much. The Khan is expected to fly at speeds exceeding Mach 1.8 and has a combat radius of over 1,100 km. This gives it the range to operate far from Turkish airspace if needed, whether in the eastern Mediterranean, the Middle East, or beyond. It can climb quickly, maneuver aggressively, and strike with precision. Under the hood, Khan's propulsion system is currently powered by twin General Electric F-110 engineers of the same engines used in the F-16. However, Turkey is not stopping there. Plans are already underway to replace these with an indigenous engine developed by TR Motor and TE, a major step in full defense autonomy. Developing a fifth gen capable jet engine is no small feat, it requires mastery of metallurgy, thermodynamics, and materials science. But with the current pace of development, an all Turkish power plant may soon become reality. Avionics and electronics are another highlight of the Khan. Thai and its partners like Aselsen and Havelson have been instrumental in creating a state-of-the-art flight control and electronic warfare system. The cockpit is fully digital, with a panoramic touchscreen display and helmet-mounted display systems that allow the pilot to lock onto targets just by looking at them. Advanced sensors, including an ASA radar, IRST infrared search and track, and electronic countermeasures, make Khan a deadly force even in heavily contested airspace. Communication is also key in modern warfare. 
Khan comes equipped with secure data links and satellite communication systems that allow it to operate in joint network-centric warfare environments. This means it can coordinate with drones, ships, and ground forces seamlessly. In fact, Integration with Turkey's growing drone fleet such as the Bayraktar AK Diarasis plus minus and CA Diarasis plus minus and KA Diarasis plus minus ZA Diarasis plus minus Lelma is a major focus. Imagine a Khan leading a swarm of AI powered drones deep into enemy territory. That's not just science fiction anymore. It's Turkey's tactical vision for the future. Khan's weapons suite is versatile. It supports a wide range of Turkish made air to air and air to ground missiles, including the GA Tilda Pilkrokdo Ayn and Bosdo Ayn series, as well as some J cruise missiles. Its internal weapons bay ensures it can maintain stealth while carrying out missions. In strike mode, it can carry precision guided bombs, laser guided munitions, and anti ship missiles. Once Turkey's indigenous engine is integrated, its payload capacity is expected to increase even further. Let's talk about development. The TFX project was launched in earnest in the early 2010s, but gained serious traction after 2016 when geopolitical tensions escalated. The turning point came when Turkey was removed from the F-35 program following its acquisition of the Russian S-400 missile defense system. While that exclusion hurt in the short term, it arguably became the catalyst for Turkey to double down on Khan. With the full support of President Erdogan and significant funding from the Turkish Defense Industry Presidency (SSP), the program accelerated rapidly. By early 2023, Ty rolled out the first prototype. On March 1, 2023, Khan performed its first taxi tests. Less than a year later, in 2024, the aircraft completed its maiden flight, reaching a major milestone in Turkey's defense roadmap. This first flight lasted just under 20 minutes, but it was enough to prove basic flight characteristics engine performance, and stability. As of now, flight testing is ongoing, with multiple prototypes planned to speed up testing and development. The timeline ahead is ambitious. Thai plans to deliver the first Khans to the Turkish Air Force by 2028. Full operational capability is expected by 2030. Meanwhile, Turkey is actively marketing the jet to its allies particularly those in Central Asia, the Middle East, and Africa countries that may not have access to Western fifth-gen fighters but are looking for a capable, affordable alternative. Khan is more than just a military aircraft. It's a symbol of Turkey's rise as a defense power. Over the past decade, the country has invested heavily in unmanned systems, missile technology, naval expansion, and space programs. The Khan fits perfectly into this broader strategy of independence and influence. In the words of Turkish officials, the goal is to become not just a consumer of technology, but a creator. It also brings economic advantages. The Khan program is creating thousands of jobs, boosting local suppliers, and attracting foreign partnerships. Companies like B Systems have provided consultation and various Turkish firms are developing subsystems and components. This collaboration builds experience and industrial depth that will benefit Turkey for decades to come. But challenges remain. Developing a fifth-generation fighter is incredibly difficult to technically, financially, and politically. Engine development, stealth coating maintenance, sensor fusion, and software integration are complex ongoing tasks. Turkey will need to manage costs, stay on schedule, and deal with inevitable hurdles in the testing phase. Yet if the progress so far is any indicator, the country seems determined to stay the course. From a strategic perspective, the Khan dramatically changes the calculus in Turkey's region. 
its ability to penetrate deep into enemy territory, conduct precision strikes, and operate in heavily defended zones gives Ankara significant leverage. In the volatile Eastern Mediterranean, the Caucasus, and the Middle East, having a fifth generation fighter jet gives Turkey a strategic edge both in deterrence and in actual combat. Turkey also envisions Khan as a centerpiece of its long term defense exports. Countries like Azerbaijan, Pakistan, and Qatar have already expressed interest. If Turkey can price it competitively, likely lower than the F 35 or Eurofighter Typhoon, it could carve out a lucrative niche in the global defense market. Coupled with its drone ecosystem, Turkey could soon offer a full spectrum air combat package to partner nations. Khan's development also marks a cultural milestone. Turkish engineers, technicians, and scientists are taking on one of the most complex engineering challenges in the world and succeeding. For young engineers in Turkey, the Khan has become a source of inspiration, a national icon representing innovation and ambition. In summary, the 2024 Khan fighter jet is not just Turkey's answer to the fifth generation challenge EU it's a bold declaration that the country is ready to take control of its own destiny in aerospace and defense. Its development is still ongoing, and many tests lie ahead. But one thing is clear, Turkey is no longer content to stand in the shadow of great powers. With Khan it is stepping onto the global stage with confidence, determination, and a fighter jet that symbolizes its future. As we continue to watch its development, upgrades, and eventual deployment, Khan will no doubt become a topic of increasing interest around the world and not just as a military tool, but as a case study in what national ambition, technical skill, and political will can achieve. Stay tuned for more updates on the Turkish Khan fighter jet and everything in the world of next-gen military tech. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Autosphere for more in-depth looks at the machines that shape our future.